Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review on this Eufy RoboVac, model number 25C. So I just did an unboxing. This is Walmart's Black Friday. They're going to be selling it for $99. It's a very basic Robo vacuum cleaner. So I've been using it for about a week and I've found some things that I like and some things that I don't like. So here's the typical room. It's got stuff. It's kind of a smaller room. Um, it had trouble with this chair, which I'm going to show you, but it kind of kept it close in, uh, it didn't wander off too far if we put something to block that path right there. So I've got two dogs that we keep in the house. I've got carpet and linoleum, but we've got a lot of carpet in our house. So this, these, this is going to give it a really good test. And I've never had one of these before. So our carpet was pretty dirty with dog hair. So there's three ways of controlling this. You've got this remote, which sits up here. And then you've got these top buttons. So if I want to start uh, uh, cleaning right now, I can press that. If I want to do a spot cleaning, I can press that where it just goes in a circle and then returns to the base. It also has a pretty nice Anchor Vac app that I can start and stop and schedule it and do all different kinds of things with it. The app is pretty nice, except it never, I never see where it says battery level other than fully charged or not charged. So right now the vacuum cleaner is docked, but here's where I'm going to empty the, so mine's been working for a while. You just press this little button like that. And then this tray slides out. This is what holds the dirt. So when you first start using a RoboVac, it's going to pick up a lot of stuff. You're going to think this thing's never going to work. It kind of clogs sometimes, but let's open this up. So here, so mine's starting to get a little better. It does pick up some dog hair pretty good. Again, we've got two dogs. One shed's really bad. Now, these are like some filters. I've noticed these gather a lot of the finer dust. And then here's kind of like the big dust collection where everything is. It's a good idea to, to blow this out once in a while, especially these. That dust really collects on there. Now, and then you just empty it, and then you can go back and slide this in, and you're ready to go. Here's some of the stuff it picked up. It does pick up a lot of dirt, but it does pick up a lot of dog hair. Okay, so now I just slid it back in there. I've emptied it out, and you can do all of this with it on the charging base. And again, when that light, is, that means it's charging, that'll turn solid blue when it's fully charged. Now, this does not map your house. It's simply a bumper. So it's got this bumper on the front. That's what activates it to make it turn and do things. So when I first ran this in this room, it was it, this thing was absolutely full of dog hair after 10, 15 minutes. So when you first get one, they're going to kind of clog up. They're going to fill up really quick. And you can see, yeah, see, and even the bristles. I've got some stuff I've got to pull off of those even. So... They tell you, and I've read this in the reviews, you have to give these things some time. You get, it's not used to be, your carpet's not used to being clean basically this thorough because these things actually do a really good job. You don't know it, but they're kind of working a lot and they're, they're cleaning it so much that they really do a thorough job at first. So once it gets caught up on cleaning, then they work a lot better. Like once it gets to the room clean, it, it's easier to keep a room clean but when you first get one of these, it's, it's basically doing a deep cleaning. And I think a lot of these fail. People um, think that it's no good because it didn't work. But let it get it, the room clean. And again, you may have to empty this quite a few. I emptied this quite a few times earlier than I had to. And um, sometimes it would be clogged up in here and here. And again, I just had to do this a couple times, take this stuff off the bristles. Now, this doesn't mean this is a bad machine yet. If it, if it continued to do this after a long time, then I might consider that. But our carpet is, we do vacuum once a week with a vacuum cleaner, but that's all we've ever done. It's never had quite this deep cleaning with this. And again, if you ever work on it, you're supposed to turn it off and then turn it back on because it could start on automatically anytime. Okay, so let's get to cleaning. I'm going to use the remote. The remote's infrared, so you have to kind of point it at it a little bit. So if you just press, that's the cleaning button, or you could just come up here and just press that. Or you can use your app. 
So it beeps at you to let you know it starts. So these whisker things, these things fell off right away. So it pretty much went around the, I've been using it pretty much without those sweeps. I put them on just for the video to see how long it would last. Now it really struggled with this chair and it got a hung up, see it's already lost one of the whisks. And this, I would have thought this chair would have worked okay, but it's just low enough to where it ramps up on it. Sometimes it can get off, sometimes it can't. It's trying to. Now it does pretty good with furniture. See that it's gonna hit that bumper. Now I did have to put something, I don't want it to leave this room. Because it will wander off. If you don't contain it into a room, these things will wander off and you it can be they can be hard to track down. Now there's no kind of boundary you can put up other than a physical boundary. Some have like a metal or a, a magnetic strip you can put down and it'll turn around and go away from it. But these, it's a physical boundary only. It only uses that front bumper. That's why it's so basic. So it's not super quiet, but it's not super loud either. Now I can turn it up to boost. It's got three levels of suction. So I can press this little fan button. That, it starts at the medium setting. That's high boost. When it beeps at you three times, that means it's, the fan is running at maximum capacity. Then you press it again so it cycles down to the lowest setting. So this thing claims to be really skinny and it is very, it's not very tall at all. But I found that to be not the, I mean, it'll go underneath this TV stand it kind of got in some areas where maybe if it was a little bit taller, it wouldn't have. So it does okay with that footrest, but boy, that chair, it just couldn't handle. And so it's, it's going to be, a, it's going to leave a random pattern. You'll see just a random pattern in your carpet. And sometimes see this one, it's even going over the exact same area that it just went over. So it has to rely on a random pattern to get your entire room clean. And so if you're sitting here, the remote is kind of cool. I can tell it to go left. I can tell it to go right. I can tell it to go forward. I can tell it to go back. So if I see it going up and it's going to hit something, I can go this way. So I can kind of control it, but not, I'm not going to sit here and control the whole thing to, to clean my room. It does have four cleaning modes. It's got this auto edge spot and a 30 minute clean and return. Yeah, there again. So in, if I wanted to clean this room, I would have to put up a barrier there so that it wouldn't do that. Because we came in here one day and it was just sitting there doing it. I'm not sure how long it was doing that. It won't like beep at you and tell you that it's stuck or anything. Now let's say I want to pause it. I can just hit this button or I can hit that pause button right on top. If I hit that button, this will start to clean or I can stop it too. It's a little harder when it's moving. That pauses it. Now I can do a spot clean. Let's do, it'll, it'll just go in a circle. So the theory behind a spot clean is, oh, somebody made a mess of crumbs. You lift the machine up, you place it on the crumbs, and then you hit spot. The spotlight is lit, and now it's just gonna clean that little area. It keeps going in a circle till it works its way out really wide. So when it's in spot mode and it hits something, it doesn't like it. It wants the area to be perfectly clean. So it just stopped. So it went in a circle till it hit something and then it couldn't come out of the mode and go into, auto. I would have hoped it would have just gone into automatic mode and start pinging off, but it didn't. So now I can just hit, so let's do edge. That's what edge cleaning is. It'll go around and do your edges. It's supposed to just hug the, your perimeter wall. So in edge clean, it's very tedious. It's constantly trying to make a right hand turn. It doesn't go very far. It's, it keeps trying to go right. So let's do return to base. Hit the power charge button. That's return to base. 
Now I've found if this thing is off in another room, return to base does not work the best. It seems like it has to be pretty close. Now I've challenged this. You're not supposed to have the charging. You're not supposed to have a chair this close to the charging. They're supposed to be uh, nice and wide open all the way around, like three feet on each side and six feet in front of it. I, I just found that to be unpractical if I'm gonna keep it in this room. So it's really trying, it turns the vacuum part off and now it's trying to find the base station. I found that it works about 50, eh, maybe 75% of the time it finds the base. If it stays in this room, if I put up a boundary and it stays just in this room, it, it usually finds the base. But if, it's, if it wanders off into another room, it can't find the base. Okay, so it found the base. That took maybe four minutes, maybe not very long at all. It slows down right when it gets to it, and then it charges itself automatically. Now, it won't start cleaning again. It will automatically charge itself, but I have to go up and manually start cleaning it again, or press the button on the remote, or if I've got a scheduled clean. So the app is pretty nice. It's got this nice feature, Find. Uh, one time it went under our bed and I couldn't find it. If you press that button, it says, Find My Robot, it'll start flashing. So when you press start, the lights flash and it gives off a tone. That way if you do lose it, you can find it. And then from the app, I can change the modes. I can do all the different modes of cleaning. I can schedule it. So I can set up a really nice schedule to have this thing clean on certain days and certain times of the week. So sometimes it does hit that charging base and it did knock it off a little bit. Okay, so let's see how it did. It only ran, what, maybe 10 minutes there? Hardly at all. Let's turn it off. How did this do? Yeah, it did pretty good. We lost one of the sweepers. These things are pretty stout and they don't work real good on carpet. There's the charging and there's the wheel. Okay, so when you got it out, you got to push this down and it should pop open. So again, the stuff really wants to cling to that, those top little filters. So again, and it did pick up quite a bit more dirt just in that little bit of time. But it really, that really fine stuff really wants to collect to those. And again, when you first get one of these, you're going to have to clean this out quite a bit. You can't just let it go till it needs charged. You're going to have to clean this about every Oh, 20 or 30 minutes in between charges. So I got this back in. I can place it on the charger. So you just line up that with that and you'll get it. And that's how you know it's charging. So I can manually put it on the charger. So again, it's, it's not necessarily designed for um, carpet, I don't think. But it, it didn't do that bad of a job on the carpet. We did try it on the linoleum. Even with the linoleum... Those sweepers, even those came off. We had just this little bitty rug right here and it knocked one of the sweepers off. So I'm new to um, robo vacuums. I'm going to like it though. Um, but I see why you pay more money. This starts out at $99. This is entry level. But I've also got another one that we paid about twice as much for. And I'm, I'm really starting to like it. So my next video is on the shark. I really like it. It's, it empties itself with this container. Absolutely love it, and it does it does lines like you can see it does back and forth. It doesn't do a random clean. So I haven't hooked it up to the Amazon device or the, the Google device yet, but it looks like you can give commands um, to tell it to start cleaning, stop cleaning. So that would be really nice. I could see where that could be nice. So it works with both of them. So Anchor has, a, this is a really good manual goes through a lot, all the setups and everything you need. So thanks everybody for watching and check out my next video on the shark.